Hello guys, it is Sar on the Minecraft server and as you can see there are villagers here and there's a thing over there and <laughs> I'm confused <laughs> um, I actually scrapped an entire episode uh, a few days ago I was recording and uh, I was running around in the in the sheep farm again, demoing some stuff, basically just talking bullshit for a while because I'm, you know, I, I want to get episodes out fairly regularly, um, but at the time, you know, stressing out and whatnot. Uh, so anyway, uh, I scrapped that whole thing so it's been a little longer than normal now between episodes because I'm wanting to build an iron golem farm. That's what we're doing, uh, or that's been my plan for a while, but I have no idea how to do that. Or, or that is, at least at the time I didn't, and... Well, like, there's sort of a... a <laughs> an algorithm <laughs> behind it, I guess. Um, or at least my, my problem here is... Um, in order for an iron golem farm to work, there are many factors. Um, but at the very basics of it, it requires a uh, like a villager spawning function, right? And the iron golem part of it, I get. But I've never built those infinite village spawner things before, so I, I you know, that's not really anything that I have um, any clear idea about how it works. Uh, so I've been sort of like. Oof, they're messing up here now. Ugh. I tried to stop them with this fence. I probably have to build more. Like there. Around the whole thing. Still gonna fall down here though. Anywho. Oh, we can do that while we talk. Um, so, um... So that's where I've sort of been stuck. Don't you hate it when you get like stuck on these stupid little things like that? Um... So I needed to understand how those infinite spawners work, and like the distances between your your uh, your actual village and whatever else, on the, or like where the villagers for the iron golem spawning system is going to be. So that's one thing, uh, and I still I still haven't figured that out exactly. I know, for instance, that you have to be 80 blocks from the center of one village in order for it to count as a new village. Um, where the center of a village is, no clue. And neither does anyone else really, it seems, from what I have read. Um, I just need a bunch of fences now. Um, there we go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, I've been doing a little bit of experimenting here. Which is why there are now villagers in my village. For once. Okay, you... <sighs> go away. have to be even taller, actually. There, that should do. No, maybe one here, too. Um, and I should be able to just... Hello. Block it like here. Okay. <laughs> so the village doesn't look very good right now. Uh, I'm fully aware. Now I can't get in here, but neither can they. Anyway. There's a lot of fences everywhere. Anyways, this thing up here is what I built. Um, I transported one villager up there. You know, I had a bunch down here before. In the in the prison, which is. And they're respawning here too. I, I, I let everyone except two out a little while ago and they're they're growing back. So it seems to be working, but yeah, as you can see there's quite a few villagers there now. It's been abandoned for a while, as you've seen. Um and this thing up here is whoop. <clears throat> 
It's really nothing more complicated than, you know, than this. It's just one villager and a bunch of doors. Um, I can build it, but I don't understand exactly how it works. And without understanding how it works, I can't really change the design. That's my problem. Um, so I have a certain amount of doors around the place. And like they're, they're supposed to be, since there's only one villager up there, like the only explanation I've heard is that these guys, they want to breed with that guy, uh, but because they can't, they keep breeding or something. But that's not really explaining it well enough for me. I couldn't find so far any any good information on it. So what I'm not sure about is if um, if it has to do at all with the amount of doors up there, or like so that like they will stop breathing once they fill like the counter of doors up there combined with the ones down here. Or if there's some other magic thing to that, that like, no matter how many doors there are, they will just keep breathing because he's stuck up there with a certain amount of doors of his own. I don't know how that works. And that's what confuses me. Um, but at least there is, they are breathing now though, I'm just not sure if they're breathing more than what the doors account for. And additionally, you know, um... I have another village down here. Actually, that was the fastest way to get there. Um. Oh, ow! And they are breeding too. These guys down here, like quite a bit now, compared to before. There were not nearly that many. This guy I made, by the way. So there was not nearly this many villagers here before I did that thing on top. So it seems they are also affected by by that thing. <laughs> um, which again means I have no idea how far away that inaccessible part has to be. Hmm. Can I do this over there? Interesting. <laughs> See if we can get out. Yep. So I don't know, like, <clears throat> how, how how high up can I have this thing? And does it matter how many doors is in it? And does it matter how many doors is in the village? And it just irritates me. <laughs> So if anyone is an expert on this and can explain it to me, uh, I would much appreciate that. Because uh, what we're going to do, and I know this is a bit of a talkative episode, I'm sorry about that. But I'm sort of a little stuck here. Of course I'm going to be reading up as well more. or looking around, watch some tutorials, none of them really explain it very well. Eventually, I believe... I was thinking we should have... Oh! Ow! Um, like, the, the, the spawning thing either over there on that hill there, that should be more than 80 blocks away from whatever the center of the village is. Unless this thing became a center of a village as well, although there's no villagers in it at the moment. Or we could go even safer. And... Uh, do it over here. Whoa, like it. Not loaded. Anyway, so we're in the winter biome there. Together with the ice farm. Could build it over there too, that's for sure far enough away. And then transport the golems into, like either into the tunnel there or into somewhere nearby, like this center of the, the future base here. Hmm. But before that, before that, we have to fix the village. That needs to work. Uh, which again leads me to... Uh, I'm considering to just tear down these, these houses here and... Uh, and or, or at least set up some... Because, um, you know, like there's a, there's a different way of breathing 
quote unquote infinite villagers as well, which is basically like you stack a bunch of houses on top of each other with tons of doors. Um, like those hotels, I guess they're called. Uh, which I presume is faster, but I'm not sure if it's actually infinite. Hmm. Although it probably is. And if I want to build that, I need a design for that, and if I'm going to design that in one particular way, then I need to redesign all these houses for them to match, and <laughs> this is this is how my head works. Oh, it's 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 frustrating. Anyways, so I think what we're going to do now, though, is we're going to build one of those hotels anyways. Maybe somewhere, I'll think about it. And... Um, and then we we'll see if we can come up with a good, nice design for that, and then replace like the texture of the houses later, and flatten out the village a little bit, I think, because it's very annoying the way it is now. Um, oh yeah, also, just before I put all these new villagers here, I went around and and covered all these, you know, these holes down to <laughs> different places here. I have no fence around my village yet, but I don't think they will walk that far away. Of course, they are. Vulnerable to zombie attacks. Um, yeah, I closed off there, and there was like a big thing here I closed off too. So it should be better now. Oh my god, that was a lot of talking and no doing anything. Let's get started on something. Alright, the first thing I want to do then is, you know, to, to shape this village up, the biggest problem the way I see it is this part over here where basically this hill here it just annoys me um, I would like it to be flat on, on I guess this level the same as the road here so I'm just gonna do that actually let's see I'm gonna create an artificial flat part. It's gonna be like that, just so I know where the level is, uh, which means I'm going to have to remove these two houses I think. Yeah, and actually to... because that would al allow me to... to basically end the village here put up a fence and not have to deal with them running away to other places and zombies and crap coming in from here so yeah I think that's what we're going to do Ta -da! like this uh, something <laughs> all right so uh, um, we'll have to I left a little area here because there's so many villagers down here so I need to to get them out basically um, but yeah we'll, we'll we're going to create it and I know I know guys I should fill it in but I'm too lazy so I'm just going to light it up under here and maybe use it for something else later and uh, we're going to chop away these these houses we're going to remove them that house and that house and that house probably as well and I th that just you know that actually makes this a good place to put the hotel thingy so yeah that's uh, that's probably what we're going to do You look at that! So many kids! So apparently this thing is working. Um, 
strange part is it seemed to have become a lot more of them after I uh, I tore down those houses. That is weird. Anyways, look here. Now oh, we can take this down too now. Actually, I'm considering to just cover this one up. I don't really need them to spawn that many down there, which is the only reason I have this hole. Actually, we could... Uh, no. Because it, it messes with my road. But anyways, so... Done my best here now to make a... <laughs> You know, it's surprisingly difficult to duplicate the uh, landscape generation of Minecraft. You know, it just looks fake when you do it yourself. I can think of a couple of improvements, but this is good for now. The reason I want it a little stiff here, or s steep, I mean, <laughs> not stiff. Oh yeah, I forgot to... Uh, it's because I want a fence. Mm. I might actually want to build this out a little bit more. I think I might do that. Uh, but I want to fence this whole area off. Uh, so that they can't really go down there. I have, like, there's no reason for them to go down there. And I don't want zombies coming up there. Uh, this side, on the other hand, I haven't really made my mind up yet. I'm probably going to have some roads and stuff down here. In fact... I would much like to connect this to the rest of my area here, which was originally the plan. Oh, Ugh. come on, kid. Yeah, come on. That was originally the plan with this, just took a while. <laughs> Uh, I think I might do that actually across this whole area there. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that. Just build like a half curve there. And uh, we'll have some more like... Raise the village up from... Uh, and fence this off here. So they don't go down there, at least not yet. And I was actually thinking I might want to connect it somehow, like like a road down to the underground one so that they like they can be part of the same population not sure yet so this is what it looks like in here now um, this I might use for something else later uh, for now I'm just going to leave it like this I don't think it <laughs> obviously if a creeper comes up here we're effed but <laughs> it's gonna happen it's gonna happen so for now we're closing Oh, there was one in there. Really, a lot of the small ones here now. Cool. And then we're gonna have that thing here. So, I'll get started on that. Something like that. For now. And uh, we'll, of course, fix this up so it's more natural after a while, too. Just, uh, you know, just closing it off for now. <laughs> they just keep spawning down here too, in prison here. I'm gonna let them be here though. I like to have this safe house, you know, for a couple of villagers in case everything else fails. At least I have this bunch in there. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, there wasn't as many as I thought. It just looked like there was so many in here. What about here? Alright. Did I close it off up there? Oh, no. <laughs> Missed. Right. Oh! That's a good shot. That is a good shot. Oh well. Ow. <laughs> Alright, cool. Cool. Um, let's see. Choppy, choppy, choppy wood, choppy wood. So, um, one of my uh, real life friends, um, I would link to his channel, but I don't think he's actually really doing YouTubes, or if he is, if if you are, let me know and I'll link to your channel. Um, 
We play some Minecraft on a server as well. And I played with him a couple of times in the past. I was just on there to look on his look at his new building and um, he tends to have a good eye for material combinations I've found. Uh, he's the same guy that, that did the whole thing that inspired me to do my nether entrance with the with the gravel and the, and that stuff. Um, and this time uh, when I was on there he had done like a mansion out of dark wood and stone brick which looked actually pretty good so I think I'm going to use that now uh, oh, I hate these trees you know like they're never you have to wait for all of these leaves to disappear before you get all the, the logs anyway so we're going to start I'm not going to finish that house in this episode guys um, but we're going to start building it in a Although I'm not so sure we actually need to anymore. But I was thinking, you know, like a mob hotel or a thingy. But there are, they're spawning like crazy now anyway though, so I'm not sure we really need to, but... Oh well, we need some more houses. So we're going to do... Oh, I forgot my... Uh, I started, uh, started with some cooking over here. Oh yeah, it's actually about... Oh. <laughs> Ah, oh, soon to be done. Uh, it's about high time we clean up the village a little bit, so I guess this is good. It's going to give me a project for a little while before we start on the mechanics. It's really working like crazy, this thing now. They're spawning so many of them. And this, I take as proof that this thing is working. They're even too lazy to go inside in the night now. <laughs> and they're staring up there and just staying under here. Don't tell me they're considering this to be a house, because there's doors up there. Hmm. Nah, they can't be. So, like, the designs I've seen for, um, for this stuff, for these hotels, have been rather long, usually. But the effect of it has to do with, there are multiple floors, and sort of the same thing as over there, I believe. <clears throat> sorry, um, in the sense that the villagers live in the top one there, but then after a while they work, like, they make their way down and uh, forget that they live there, and I don't know, and those become vacant again, those top apartments. I don't know. <laughs> um, but seeing as like the uh, the mechanic of the whole thing has to do with height and that I don't actually need that many more villagers. I think I'm not going to make it... Uh... Oh god, spelling. Um, going to make it not that huge. Let's see. Let's frame this up here. How big should it be? Um, I need a little space around it for them to live in. I like this house. It's how big is it inside? Uh, three by three of the inside surface. We can do the apartments like that. So one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Uh, so, it'll be like this, another one, like this, oh yeah, 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 and we'll, we'll have doors, doors here too, actually. Whoa. I'm not sure if there's doors in between in that design, you can probably do that too. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm not gonna build it any bigger than that. Usually, I think they are much bigger, but this will do. I'll do my little mob hotel, um, and then not sure exactly though what I'll do with this. Uh, 
We'll play around with this for a little, little bit. Hmm. Actually, that is uh, absolutely wrong. Now that I think about it, it should be. Uh, like, like that. Yeah, because there should be that many doors. Like that. So there's four doors to each room. Let me get some doors. There we go. Alright, obviously this is a bit strange. With those colored doors with dark wood, but... Meh. <laughs> I don't really care that much. Let's see. Actually, it could look cool. But, um, to be honest, I think I'm actually going to to use this for floor. Since no one's going to see in here anyway. This wood is much easier to get. Um probably should have some light in here, that should be sufficient for one room. I need to change that to... Oh. And... Let's see. Alright, like that. And then like four, five, six floors maybe of this. It should be, I think, uh, with, now there was something here that, like, there has to be, um, not sure why exactly, but there should be something over here, at least in the tutorials I've seen, although I'm not so sure that that is actually necessary. Um, Uh, they would walk on that and it would like it was According to the ones I've seen that is like a requirement that for it to work That there is something above the door like this. I'm not I don't think that is the case all the tutorials say so but Like that thing over there seems to work although that well I'm not sure if that's considered a house Okay, well, we'll do it like this just in case uh, And then do like another floor on top So we're doing like this, you know, like just stacking it on top of each other like that. I think that could look pretty cool. I'm actually going to do this just in the corners. We're going to have it like this. The bottom, of course, is going to look a little bit different than the other ones and like uh, five or six floors. Yeah. Um, I think the reasoning behind dividing it into rooms like this instead of just having like one gigantic room is to um, is that it would be considered separate houses rather than one big house with many doors and I think again the logic behind that has well I'm, I'm just guessing now this is just my reasoning behind it I think it has to do with that villagers remember the uh, apartment they belong to uh, and um, or for a certain period anyway and like if no one remembers that apartment I'm guessing that it then becomes vacant as I mentioned earlier and someone else can move in there or spawn there I guess and not, not spawn but like a a new a newly grown up can, can move in there anyways though guys um, that is pretty much what we have time for in this episode so I'm going to be working a bit on this um, for the next one and uh, we'll give you an update when that happens for now though thanks a lot for watching I hope to see you around for the next one this was a little bit of an undecided episode I'll gladly admit but we're getting there I think we're on to something now and uh, have a great one guys bye bye